welcome to this week's vlog. So I'm not doing vlogmas like some people do where you vlog every single day in December, but I'm gonna try and do like a weekly vlog kind of video. I just didn't think it would be exciting to do every single day because I am literally just gonna be at home for the entire month. <laughs> but I am starting off today, so I already made a gingerbread house. And I need to finish wrapping all of my presents. And I'm also gonna make another batch of Christmas crack just because I have all of the supplies. I have this Christmas shirt on that I got from Amazon. It was in my Christmas haul video and it's so cute, I love it. And then I have my matching red buffalo plaid scrunchie. And then also this week, I'm gonna be making a second gingerbread house because we're doing a kind of gingerbread house contest thing at work. So I'm gonna be making a second gingerbread house. So it's just a week for gingerbread houses. So if you don't know what Christmas crack is, it is, it looks like this. It's just like pieces that you break up. It is basically crackers, brown sugar, butter, chocolate, and then I put pecans on top, but you could totally put sprinkles, M&Ms, anything on top. But it is the most addictive thing ever. It is so simple, but it is so addictive. And I honestly don't know if it got its name crack, Christmas crack because of the fact that it's super addictive or the fact that you like break it up, like you crack it because it's crackers, or if it is just like a double meeting and it's for both of those reasons. But this stuff is so addictive. I made it a couple days ago and we've been demolishing it. The problem with Christmas baking this year is usually I have friends over or family over or I go to someone's house and I bring baking and we are not allowed to have anybody at our house or go to anybody else's house. So literally just the two of us, my boyfriend and me, our cats obviously can't eat this, are just gonna end up eating all of the Christmas treats that I make, which I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> also, December means mandarin oranges. So I bought a big box of these bad boys and they just taste like Christmas to me. Growing up, I called them Christmas oranges. I still sometimes call them Christmas oranges, but they're just so delicious. They just taste, they just remind me of Christmas. I love them. I have to go grab a couple groceries. The best part about having to wear a mask combined with winter, I didn't have to put any makeup on or wash my hair. <laughs> As I'm basically completely covered. And this is the way to go. I love days when I don't have to put makeup on. Okay, I'm making a, another batch of Christmas crack, finally. So I got my Crackers all lined on a baking sheet and then I just like fold this up so it doesn't spew out. And then I got to get a pot out. Okay, so you need about like one sleeve of these crackers, one cup of brown sugar. Don't mind my measuring cup. We broke like all these measuring cups. We need to get some new ones. And one cup of butter. These are both half a cup. And you can use unsalted butter or salted butter. If you use unsalted butter, you're supposed to add salt, so I just use salted butter instead of doing that. And you're gonna melt these in my pot. And then you basically just mix this around until it is melted and it will start to boil. And you just kinda wanna keep stirring it. And then once it's boiling, you reduce the heat to medium and you boil for five minutes. Stirring occasionally. And then as soon as that five minutes is over, you pour over top of the crackers. Okay, it's boiling, so I just... <laughs> and then you put it in the oven for five minutes. At 350. Then when you take it out, you cover it with chocolate chips. I just use semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then you wait two minutes. 
And then you'll spread it all around. I'm also cutting up some pecans to put on top, but that's totally optional. You could also do like M&Ms or Smarties or sprinkles or anything you want. And then you put it in the fridge for two hours. And then you break it up. That's the best part. Also, it is December and it is so nice out. It's just beautiful out. Okay, we're going for a Christmas light walk. Our, st truck. our street Internet people. We fixed the truck. Well, we did. Not we. Well, I did it. Okay, but can we give me some credit for doing helpful things? Oh yeah, no, you're super helpful. But this time <laughs> I just fixed it with just. Our street's sort of festive, but not as where I would like it. That's a tree. Huh? Yeah. Usually we drive and look at Christmas lights, but it's nice enough that we're walking. Six degrees feels like three. Six degrees in December. Canada, that's good. Six degrees Celsius. Well, yeah, and we don't live in Vancouver, so yeah, that's good. Yeah, in Vancouver, they're probably half their snow Vancouver, jackets on. They're in like winter everything, and they're like, it's freezing. I think the blue shoe's kind of pretty. We got, oh, wait till you guys see the neon house. Oh my, I can already see the <laughs> other house and the trailer. Look at the color on the trailer. Yeah. See that blue shiny speck up there? Yeah. I love candy canes. Oh, they got a little scene on the garage. It looks like a police car. <laughs> like the colors right there. The like blue right. and red. Yeah. Lots of Olafs. And a minion. I need all that stuff to be on a timer because I'd be so annoyed having to go out and turn each individual thing on. <laughs> there it is. Neon house. It's pretty, right? Guides me home. I would not want to live beside that guy, but I appreciate the amount that he enjoys Christmas. I was upset when it wasn't there yet, and I thought that they might not be doing it this year. It's like. It's very bright. Look at this. It's like obnoxious for the people that try to see this. Like it's so bright. And like he leaves it on all night. It's pretty crazy. It glows. I like it. Look at all but I wouldn't want to live next to it now. No. In all honesty, like probably should get shut off at like a certain time. Oh man, look at it from this angle. Oh, it's crazy bright. It hurts my eyes. I think I like looking at it, but it like makes it someone to look away. I'm seeing like blue spots. Okay, that's a wrap on Vlogmas week one. And this is why I'm not doing Vlogmas every day like some people because I just, I'm just not doing super exciting things every single day. But we did get around to doing a couple things. We love just going for a walk or going for a drive and looking at Christmas lights. That's like one of our favorite activities to do just on a night when we have nothing else to do. So there'll definitely be more uh, Christmas lights. Also, we need to drive through Spruce Meadows. They put up like a Christmas light display. I still have to finish wrapping a couple presents. And I'm also gonna be doing some Zoom Christmas parties, two different Christmas parties are happening on Zoom. So we'll maybe, depending on how that goes, I'll maybe vlog it. Don't really know what that's gonna look like, but could be fun, I don't know. We will see. 
So thank you for watching. I have some more Christmas videos coming this week and I will see you in week two of Vlogmas. Say hi. Whitney says hi. Yeah. And Peppa is out here. Oh, he's right there. Come on. <laughs>